For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. He that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. The light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Praise God for that. And it shows, you know, the contrast between the righteous and the unrighteous, those who love the light and those who hate it. So let's begin today's tutorial. I'm going to go through some camera stuff as well I'm as well as I'm hoping to go through some 3D. Now right now this is my workspace. It's actually just one huge image as you can see here. All right? You've seen this image and actually this little box you see here is where my camera is. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you that you can pan your camera across the screen as well as move it in along a Z plane. Other things you can actually do with the camera is you can rotate it, you can scale it, you can skew it, you can translate it. Alright, so let's get into it. So you'll notice that in my area, I have just two layers. I don't really need the drawing layer, but I'm going to use it anyway. So for that drawing, I guess I'll just draw something small, like, I don't know. Let's use some red and white. So maybe I can draw a target and show you something. So my lips tool. Oops. Okay, red. Pin it in there. Pick another one. Shift out, drop in the center. And I'll just fill that in with white. We'll kind of move it. So this is my circle. I'm actually going to use this just so I can show you that I can carry this along with the camera. So copy this. Wait, you just want to clean up. So copy all of this. Paste it. Resize it. Put it back. You know, in the center. So that's my target. And so I'll use this target just to show you something. I'll just pretend that that's a drawing. Just zoom in there so you can see what's going on here. So my target is here in my screen. I'll just probably put it like here. And I'll just call this target. So this could represent anything you want, like a walking man or a car or a cloud or something, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my camera and let it go along this entire bridge. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a I'm going to add a peg. So I come to my network view and I come over here. Click the add peg button. So my target has that now and my bridge is still here. All I want is that 
my target for span of say I just increase this to about 200 frames I want my target to kind of go along the bridge and shrink as it goes down so I'll just extend my frames and from previous videos you know what you'd want to do because we only have one frame and if we come over here there's nothing we're going to extend our frames until it reaches 200 so I'm just going to highlight down here you don't click and then click drag you just click and drag because clicking and then dragging will imply moving so so once you do this all you do is you can right click and choose extend exposure or you could just press F5 which I have actually like to do so we have 200 frames of our target as well as our bridge and so I'm just going to use my peg for my target and I'm just going to sort of use my translate tool here and we're going to move the target off screen I'm just going to do that for now and at the end of this and it's all the way down I want it so that at the end of all of this my target should be at the end of the bridge so at this last point here I'm going to translate make sure you have animate on because it takes into consideration the motions you, you make so if we move it here I'll move this target all the way over to here and so you should see a tween going between the two keyframes this dot is a keyframe as well as this dot is a keyframe and the arrow pointing from one to the other implies that some movement is going on that's why we leave on the animate button all right so say i leave that there i won't translate it now but what we're going to do is get the camera this area to actually follow along with the target so of course you're going to need to add a camera layer now maybe some animators might know of using flash and flash doesn't come with a camera but this one does and I find it really useful so instead of having to you know tween the background to move you could actually just have one huge background and use the camera to just show different sections of it so let's get to that so of course you have different ways you can get your camera open you to your network you could come to your module library favorite usually has camera you could drag it in you can drag it over here or you could go the really easy way and just click on the plus button here and choose camera right so that's how you add a camera and you notice this area is now purple so we have our camera and of course if you want to move your camera it's recommended that you add a peg to it you notice the camera here just floats by itself right now picture it this way why it's not con connected to the composite is that picture a movie going on and you have the actors you have the props in the background and that's all good and well the cameraman it is just the camera is just going to capture everything that goes on so all your action could take place and it's attached to the main composite which is attached to your display module but the camera is just here to capture all that motion so you come to this point and so we add a peg to this camera add a peg put this here and we're going to use our advanced animation tool set to manipulate it now there's more than one view of using the camera and you'll notice that right now we can see front view you could actually zoom out if you wanted to and that's where a top view will come in place see so now you can actually go back and forth so just if you could just take a look at here right so i'm just going to zoom back and you'll see that my area is shrinking you can also move it 
All right, I'll just use this side to go up and down. So I can set my camera here, and of course I have my keyframe here. And I'll just kind of wait till my target gets on screen to start moving my camera. So maybe I could start my here. So when the target gets on screen, probably about there, then I can start moving my camera if I want to. And then I'll just follow the target. I'll just put this over here. And I'll just kind of zoom my camera. Let me just zoom out. I'm not happy. I'm going to just push this forward a bit. You know, could get my camera to stop here. And the target just continues on its own. So this is what you would see on the camera. Let me put up the safe area. Uh, and my camera mask. And if I play this out, you kind of get this view. Target comes on, the camera follows the target while the target goes along the bridge. And then the camera stops following the target and the target just continues. So that's pretty much in essence how you use the camera. You could actually use the other tools like the rotate or the scale or the skew. So I'll just show you those. So just check out the next video and we'll just go through those. They're going to be really short. So thanks for watching. Take care.